Working in IT in today's world in just about any capacity requires some level of awareness and understanding of how to build and operate server and storage infrastructure in the cloud. But how do you navigate the thousands of products and services, multiple cloud providers, and then deliver expectations that have been built from decades of running on-prem? Let me show you. the first video in this series, I highly recommend starting there because we start at the top of the stack and work our way down. And just a reminder that this is a follow-up from the recent Cloud Field Day 13 event back in February. I'll leave a link to the full presentation down in the description below in case you missed it. Today we're here to talk about cloud architects, building and maintaining hybrid infrastructure both on-prem and in the cloud, but also to migrate and host traditional enterprise applications in the cloud. And just like the previous video, I want to focus on how some of the NetApp cloud portfolio can help you get there and automate scale and control costs. And while the previous video was all about the apps, this one is all about the storage and the data contained within it. The first thing I wanna talk about is what NetApp's mission has been over the last few years. Now going back to 2016 and 2017, we've been trying to find the Goldilocks way of providing users in the cloud with enterprise class storage, like the kind that they've become accustomed to using on-prem. The varying cloud providers have all opted to do so in very unique ways, but I can personally attest that they've all done so with the customer experience in mind. So let's break down each of these and where they stand today, starting with Azure NetApp Files. Now, if you missed them or you're not subscribed here to the channel, I've got an entire series dedicated to ANF going on right now that you should check out if this interests you. It goes deeper into the architecture than this video. Now I'll leave a link to that down in the description for you, but the thing that differentiates Azure NetApp Files is that it's actual NetApp hardware, the big ones located inside the Azure Regional Data Centers, connected directly to compute via the local fabric interconnects in the same racks. Sub-millisecond latency and hundreds of thousands of IOPS, and all you have to do is delegate a subnet to your VNet, connect it to your Active Directory, and then you've got on-demand, high-performance storage for your enterprise apps. And a lot of the time, we see customers getting a performance upgrade over what they've been used to working with on-prem. If you remember nothing else, the key takeaway here is that you'll never manage the storage array or the failed disks or do any controller swaps. Just create your volumes and manage your data. Next up, Google Cloud. Look, um, don't tell anyone, but personally, I love Google Cloud. And I've even had my blog, datacenterdude.com, hosted there for over a year now. But in the marketplace, if you just search for NetApp, you'll find cloud volume service. Again, it's just actual NetApp hardware delivered straight to your VPCs and VMs, just like ANF. All you need to worry about is creating your volumes. Now, I did a full seven video series back in 2020 that I just moved over here to the channel covering all the details for Google Cloud's cloud volume service. And I'll leave a link to it in the description if you'd like to see some actual demos of how it all works in Google Cloud. And finally, there's Amazon FSx for ONTAP. Launched last year at AWS Storage Day, FSx ONTAP is a fully managed ONTAP as a service platform that is natively integrated directly into the AWS console and tightly integrated with many other parts of the AWS portfolio. Things like CloudWatch, CloudFormation, SageMaker, EC2, and more. What FSx brings to the table is the first software managed version of this offering. And with the traction that we've seen so far, I think this is going to set the standard going forward. So here you are. You've got some enterprise storage in the cloud. Fantastic. But now what? You need transport, oversight, compliance scanning and reporting, backup, distribution, disaster recovery, and most importantly, a way to centrally manage all of it in one place across clouds and on-prem. This is where the magic happens. Now, it's been my personal opinion for a couple of years now that the universal control plane is the next great frontier to conquer in this new era of IT. The ability to have a global view of your entire footprint and to manage everything centrally. See, if you don't know where to look, the cloud has a way of obscuring visibility to what you're actually using and actually spending. I feel like this is one of the reasons so many people get caught up with the huge sticker shock bills when they first start entering the cloud. It's one of the biggest reasons we've made acquisitions over the last couple of years, like Spot and CloudCheck. But while Spot provides that centralized platform for managing apps and driving the underlying infrastructure, NetApp Cloud Manager is our take on the universal control plane for storage, giving you that standardized deployment approach along with a global view to manage your storage footprint, apply compliance and governance, centralize backups and disaster recovery, provide persistent storage for Kubernetes, 
and so much more. Add your cloud subscriptions and accounts, connect your IAM roles, import existing cloud and on-prem resources, create your mirrors and backup relationships, and you're done. Admittedly, this is much more enticing for existing NetApp customers that are familiar with ONTAP and all of her flex and snap words, but we've had plenty of new customers that have never heard of ONTAP or NetApp that discovered us in the cloud and that ultimately led to placement of NetApp storage arrays on-prem, all in order to facilitate this seamless hybrid operation that we've put together. If I had to boil it down to a final thought, you're going to have multiple groups that are going to be operating in the cloud in different ways and capacities going forward. You've certainly got the DevOps operators that we discussed in the previous video that can use Spot as their control plane for all things apps, and the cloud infrastructure, but you've also got the hybrid cloud architects that are extending their traditional enterprise applications and storage architecture to consume cloud. The most interesting part of this dynamic to me is how this has turned into bridge building between on-prem and cloud. And speaking for myself here, it's, it's my opinion that no one, and I mean no one, has come up with the end-all, be-all, all-encompassing right answer for this in an all-in-one solution quite yet. And it's why I believe it truly is the next great frontier of modern IT operations. Look, in the next video, it's your turn, on-prem admins. We've got a lot to talk about as well, and considering that's the world I came up in, man, I've got lots to say. Hard facts we're going to have to swallow. The world is changing all over again, just as it did back in 2006 with the emergence of VMware and virtualization, and we need to have some reality checks about a few things. And in the process, I wanna show you how we're making things easier for you to operate beyond the confines of the data center. Make sure you subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check the description for all of those important links and I'll see you next time. Take care.